have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and we're doing reviews on things that we've gotten for our camper. And this one's in addition to uh, some other stuff that I needed because I ran out of hose whenever I went to uh, Lock 30, the campground, which uh, I did that video. I'll put a little clip in here so you can see what I'm talking about. My sewer hose is extended pretty much all the way and the cord is extended all the way this way and I came up short. So <laughs> I used that little dog bone extension and went ahead and plugged into the 50 amp. Well, you can see it was stretched out pretty far <laughs> and uh, I wanted to address that in case we went to another private campground that wasn't a state park and had the same setup. So this is what I picked up. This is a Rhino Flex. It's an extension kit and it's basically the uh, brother to the hose that I currently have uh, inside here. And I'll show you something that I did with this one. These things are real tight fit in there. So what I did is I just made a, a, a handle out of a rope and an old dowel and I just kind of zip stripped it on there and uh, melted this in so it wouldn't pull through but this will allow me to pull this hose out and of course with this extension kit I can hook to it uh, the fitting the bayonet uh, I keep in the trunk of the, the camper uh, that just locks onto here this goes down in the hole and then on the other end obviously is the connector that goes to the camper. Of course, now that if, if I need extra length, I can go with this extension. Now this is that RhinoFlex and you can see uh, whenever it's collapsed, I mean, it, it really tries to hold position. It's, it's kind of cool. Inside here, I'll show you what it looks like and uh, how long it is when it's collapsed. This thing is uh, an additional 10 foot, which that's really all I needed. Uh, I didn't want to go much longer than that. So uh, let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. All right, you can see the ends obviously are nothing uh, out of the ordinary, but there is one thing I wanted to show you that you need to address. Whenever you get this Rhino Flex from Camco, uh, the first thing you wanna do is tighten these. What I do is I unlock it, I go ahead and I screw it in even further uh, than what it was originally, which you can get quite a few turns on it. Once you get it in there tight, then lock this down to hold it in place. There's a couple of things inside that you need to be aware of, and let me get closer to the camera and show you. Inside they have like a petroleum jelly, um, and it aids in sealing uh, onto this coupler. Also inside though, is some excess tab that may catch debris whenever you have this hooked up. So what you wanna do is reach in there with a pair of side cutters and uh, clip off anything that might be protruding out. They could catch a random piece of toilet paper or something whenever it's draining out. So that's something that you need to be aware of with these. Other than that, these things are really durable and I love the way that they hold position because you can really make it flow at a nice gentle rate the whole way. Again, same with this end. Uh, you want to unlock the, the coupler. You then want to spin the hose up as far as it will go into the coupler. Just like that. I mean, that's really tight. And then go ahead and lock it down to where it doesn't move. A lot of people will make that mistake whenever they get it just thinking it's ready to go. And again, uh, there's a tab in here that's just kind of sticking out that I'll take side cutters to and uh, I'll clip that so there's no way that it'll be catching on to anything. That procedure that I just showed you is notated on this note ring that they have attached. So it's something that you may want to look at. But now what I'll do with this is uh, attach it to our hose um, with the uh, cap and put it all inside of our bumper. That way I'll have it whenever I need it. And whenever we don't, it can just stay in there and be stored until we do need it. That's my review of the Rhino Flex and uh, what you need to do to install it. Uh, this is the extension kit. And again, I'll put the link for my original review on the hose uh, that does all the draining for you, that does all the work for the most part. This is just in case. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, hope to see you out there. Thanks. Bye.